Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Francisco Giants going up against the Oakland Athletics. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. All right, first pitch coming up. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Number 40, what do you have on him? Well, no doubt about it. He's going to have to put together some consistently good performances in order to bring that ERA down. Now, he's got good stuff. He's just got to be able to have confidence, trusted, and really go after hitters, not nibble. Trusted his stuff can have late life in miss barrels of bats. Now it's the shortstop, Tyler Fitzgerald. But why to kick the pitch? That one finds the zone. And away we go here in Oakland. The 0 1. Ball. There's a strike. <laughs> to the right side, Alvarez. He steps on the bag, one out in the top of the first. Here's the Giants lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Matt Chapman. And he's leading him in runs batted in this season, which tells me this guy is able to slow things down when it seems like there's a little bit of pressure. And he's looking at it as an opportunity to do damage. You know, a lot of guys, they see runners on base and they get big. They feel like all this pressure, I've got to get these runs in. But somehow he seems to settle into these situations. So watch out when he comes to the plate. One out, base is empty. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Sizing this one up. He's got it, there's two away. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Elliot Ramos. Ramos goes five feet, 11 inches, 190 pounds, and he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Right through there for a strike. Fastball almost got him there. Straighten him up one a little one. bit. Two down, nobody on. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. Swung on, belted back there. Banks off the wall around first, digging for two. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Everything came together for him. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way. But well, that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. Now it's Matt Chapman. Ground ball left side and foul ball. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. And the 0-1. One and one. And a swing and a miss. Now that's that slow right there. there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. And that one is lifted in the air. Ranging back. Makes the grab and that's the inning. Giants nothing. A's coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Oakland, 
And towing the slab in this one, Logan Webb. What do you have on him, Singing? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Number 28 wow. in now. Takes ball one off the plate. And that is in for a strike. And it's one and one. That's hard hit in the line. That's a hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Let that pitch get pretty deep on him, so I think he was looking to go the other way. It was off speed and inside there, so a good adjustment to shoot it back up the middle. Here's Miguel and Duhar. And this is inside. That one the other way, and there's a hit. Throw back in quickly, first and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. This is J.J. Blade. Seems like he's making contact with everything lately. Batting over 300 so far this month. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. First and second here, no outs. Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. Next pitch outside. is outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Righty delivers. And a base hit on the line. Around third. Here's the throw. The tag. And he's out. Well, not much you can say here other than you should have listened to your third base coach. It's tough because we've all seen examples of this working out for players, but when it doesn't, it's a really bad look. Two on, one out, and now a chance for Shea Langoliers. He's done a great job making contact recently. Can make it a five-game hitting streak with a knock in this one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Two on, one out. Pitches one in the one. dirt, and it's one and one. One out, runners at first and second. And another ball. Way to lay off that pitch down. Three, two now. Tyler Nevin to bat next. Three, two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. On Duhar, the lead runner out at second, Blade. At first, one gone. That one hit to right. Yastrensky on his way over, drops into the glove, 
Tags up from second, and he'll head to third. Yastrzemski hustles it back in, and the go-ahead run stops at third base. And time now to check out the A's lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slug and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Here's Tyler Nevin to the plate. Right through there for a strike. 0 and 1. The pitch. Oh. Runners on first and third, two away. pitch swing and a miss and that is that well this guy competes hard we see the emotion there I love it great job of getting out of the jam back here in the East Bay second inning set to go leading off number 64 the pitch yeah, there's a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And that oh, one is inside it. ball one. Our umpire behind the plate, Jerry Hillsdale. High praise for Jerry when we talk to people around the game. Yeah, no doubt about it, Boog. He's very straightforward, very consistent back there. So most of the time, you're not even going to think about him. That's a good thing. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring? Or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because the pitcher's got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitter's got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but you have to just out. hunt for what you can handle. Mike Yastrzemski in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Gets under it and pops it up. As this one sized up, pulls it down, and there's two gone. Got it, got it. The second baseman, Casey Schmidt. Two outs, base is empty. And up next for the Giants, Casey Schmidt. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field way back there. It's a bomb. A laser to left and they jump ahead in the second. It's one nothing. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. So two away with nobody on. Here's Kirk Casale. Swing and a miss, strike one. Oh, one. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here at the top of the second. Not one close one. with that one, and now it's even one and one. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss, struck him out. It's a run for the Giants on the solo blast. It's now 1-0. This is the Bay Bridge Series on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Zach Geloff. Webb back to work. 
Fast ball for a strike. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. The 0-2. Next Why offering two? is outside. 0-2 pitch that far out of the zone gives the hitter a little confidence that maybe he can climb back into this at bat. That's down oh. and in. That oh, one count. misses. And now three and two. To third, Chapman. Zips it across. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting seven. The first baseman, Armando. Now it's the rookie Alvarez. first baseman, Armando Alvarez. And the first the pitch misses for ball one. The A's trailing by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Missed nope. with a changeup. And that's ball two. Down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. 2 1 now. Pulls that one foul. One down, base is empty. Full count. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. He's got it. And there's two down. Batting eight, the third baseman, Darrell. Here's the rookie third baseman, Daryl Hernandez. And that drops in for a strike. It's amazing to look up and see 88 miles per hour on that changeup. Back in the day, that was a pretty good fastball, but with high velocities these days, that speed differential is right where it needs to be. Next oh, offering no. is downstairs. It's a good take. And a ground ball to first. Canna oh. steps on the bag. Oakland goes quietly. And the A's are gone in order. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Out of the third inning and digging in for San Francisco, Grant McCray. The wind of the pitch. Edge of the zone for a strike. 1 1. Now, this is in the air down the line. And that drops foul. Here comes a pitch. Way One, inside. Two. And a swing and a miss. One out. No, oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base paths, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing but also be in position to make a play as an outfielder you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy That's from taking ball. an extra base Outside. so I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base and the pitch just ball. missed 2 and 0 oh.
on the ground right side oh what a stop rolls from his knees safe at first as they can't make the play Oh, that one right there had the looks of one of those plays of the week. Great diving stop, but he just couldn't set up to make a good throw. Maybe got a little too excited. He was probably feeling it as well, but either way, that's a tough play and a tough error. One gone runner at first. Mark Canna, the next giant to hit. He's over one. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. One and one. In the dirt. And the runner holds. Riding to the plate. Now a blooper back behind short. Hauls it in for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And now it's the Giants DH. Elliot Ramos doubled his first time up. And that's no, off ball. the inside edge. One and oh. One ball, no strike. And that's another ball. ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first he's in a favorable hitters count well if nothing else I mean this is a great spot for a hitter to be in that one back up the middle and it gets through throw stops the lead runner at second two on and two out a couple of hits in a row for him here once you get the ball by the pitcher there's a lot of base hits up the middle even on ground balls so a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit here's Matt Chapman Slide to right his first time. And One that's out. in the dirt. Two on, two outs. Foul ball there. And he deals. Headed down the line. And that's a foul ball. That one misses. Now two and two. On the ground to the left. Oh, and it hits the base. And that's a base hit into left field. The run comes in to score from second. It's 2-0. Puts a yeah. run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control. And it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. So two on with two away. Here's the left fielder. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Close no, one doesn't get the call, and it's one to no. The Giants trying to break this one open. We're here in the top half of inning number three. There's the strike. That clips the corner. The right hander deals in the air, left side on Duhar. In and to his right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 2 0 ball game. Back after this on the show. Set for the bottom the of the third, digging in for That's Oakland, number 12. Schumann. And here it comes. That yeah. clips the zone, and it's 0 and 1. And a strike in there. No balls. Two 
That one that drifts inside. Ball. Tough to take a two strike changeup that just missed. I think it froze him. Just oh. misses. Two and two. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And a pitch. That one ripped right center field. Yastrzemski ranging into the alley. But won't get there. It's into the gap. Into second easily with a leadoff double. He was all over that one. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Now it's the right fielder. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. And that Yo, one missing down. low. Oh. Man at second. And that one ripped to left. Makes the catch. One down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right, right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Now the left fielder, Miguel Andujar. One for one with a single so far. That one rip, but foul. The Giants up by two here in the last half of the third. Next offering is down low. Fly ball down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. pitch and oh. another ball one out and a runner at second <laughs> two two now gets a piece there we'll do it again And that one lifted in the air, center field. McCray makes the grab on the run. Now batting, center fielder, J.J. Blade. J.J. Blade getting ready to hit, and he's already singled in this game. Well, Chris, through the early That's stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Not two even close count. there, and it's 2-0. and oh. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. And that one is out of here. And this game is tied. It's 2-2. Two -two. Wow, what a clutch swing right there. And now anything can happen in this game. With this pitcher's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Two outs, nobody on. So here's the cleanup hitter for Oakland, Shea Langoliers. Pitch misses, one and ball up. one.
That's the third, and that's oh. just foul. Tied up here in the early going. And it oh. is two and one. And that's that too high. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And he walked him. Boom, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Nevin, the no, next to ball. hit, takes ball one. Langoliers off of first with two away. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. One, one. Swung on, popped up left side. Chapman in position. He's there. He's got it. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. 2-2 game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Back for more of the Battle of the Bay. On to the fourth. And here is Mike Yastrzemski. Yastrzemski. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The right-hander back to work. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. All these Giants doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at-bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, That's and it. they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Sends it to first. That's the first out the in the top of the fourth. Casey Schmidt now at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set him up to do more damage later in this game. What a stop! Fires to first. Oh. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting, the catcher. Kirk. Now it's the Giants catcher, Kirk Casali. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Casali, 35 years old, and he was a 10th round pick back in 2011. That's a strike across the top of the zone. 0 oh 2. That one oh. misses, and a count one and two. Two outs, bases empty. That misses. Ball two balls, two strikes. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And right back to the mound. Slings the first. Giants go in order. Nothing doing here this half. We're midway in the fourth. We are tied 2 2. And we're back. Bottom four. Here's the second baseman, Zach Yellow. Webb back to work. Just missed. You know, these A's showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game no, in this one. Missed. They're That's doing the a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. And that one's a little bit low, and it's 3-0. and Still relatively early, but with a pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Oh, look at the stop. From his knees, the throw. High throw to first, and he can't reach it. 
That's a dangerous throw for the first baseman to try to handle right there. Exposed him to a potential collision, and we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. And here's the first baseman, Armando Alvarez. Ball, that's Just missed. At the belt and fires. Fought off foul. One one now. On the ground right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Third baseman number two. Daryl Hernandez will hit next. Grounded out his first time up. In there at the knees. 0 oh 1. Grounder might be two. Off balance speed, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Two on, one out. And the batter will be the shortstop. One for one with a double and a run score. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. One outside, and that is ball one. In this situation, the batter's got to know what the pitcher's trying to do to him, and that's trying to get him to hit the ball on the ground, get two for one. You got to look for something up in the zone. At worst case scenario, you deliver the sacrifice fly. Next pitch is outside. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Gellar on third. Hernandez over at first with one away. Outside. Nope. Three and oh. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. pitch that one out to right snags it on the run runner tags from third throw is offline and he scores it's 3-2 sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things keep it simple runner third less than two outs put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly back to the top of the lineup and now the right fielder one for two Ball That's one and a pitch ball. inside. Two balls, That's no ball. strikes to count. Kicks and deals. Misses oh. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. And a pitch. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. 
Great RBI Helpful. spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Outside, and that is ball four. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. So digging in, Miguel Andujar. And that one fouled off. Here's your one. Fouled off left side. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. Two outs. That's oh. off the mark. Ball one. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And the righty deals. Good. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We're headed to the fifth. It's the A's three and the Giants two. New inning getting started. And now here's the speed threat. Outfielder Grant McCray. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. Fouled off. He was late. All well, these Giants just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. To first, one away here in the fifth. Tyler, back to the leadoff spot of the Giants lineup. Tyler Fitzgerald digs in now. The One Athletics ball, no leading by a run. And we're at the top of the fifth. The shortstop ball. takes a ball. Misses so with the 2-0. Oh. And he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. A wind of the pitch. There's a strike. That one ripped. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Now that the first base. Mark Hanna. Man at second with one away. Mark Canna getting ready to hit. First pitch oh, doesn't yeah. find the zone. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Runner at second here, one gone. That's a base hit. Here comes the runner. Here comes the throw. It's off the mark, and he scores. It's 3-3. Three, three. Huge game tying and bat right there. Came through in a big spot to drive in the run. Nice job going the opposite way with it. Letting the ball travel and not allowing the barrel to hook around the ball. It's so frustrating when you see a good pitch and your hands roll over. It was on the outside part of the plate, and he approached it perfectly. And a foul ball. Canna stands at first with one out. Ball That's one the ball. there. Oakland's bullpen has ball, some movement. Scott Alexander appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Hey, 
Yeah, now two balls and a strike. Just misses the mark outside the zone. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Hit on the ground to the right foul side. Ball. And it goes just foul. The pitch. This to third. Pernayas. Low throw, and he can't take it out. The batter, the third baseman, Matt Chapman. Go ahead, run on base. And here is Matt Chapman. And he takes one right on the black. It's 0-1. Laser base hit coming home. He will score and the Giants take the lead. It's four to three. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Scott Alexander will take over here. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Number 54. Scott. Alexander. First and second, one out. Here's the left fielder. There's a strike at the knees. One one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. A little bit ball, low. Ball. That one's in there. One and two. And now the lefty. Two and two. Squirts away a little bit. Play it third in there. And it's second and third, one away. Well, that could end up being pretty costly right there. They had the double play set up as a way to get out of the inning, but instead it becomes a big strikeout situation with two in scoring position. Hey. Strike three, got him swinging. Huge strikeout there. Mike Yastrzemski up here. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Two outs, two in scoring position. Back to the mound. It hit him. On the run, throw to first, and very nicely done for the out. But two runs form, and they jump ahead. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Giants four and the A's three. Back in Oakland, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the center fielder, J.J. Blade. The wind of the pitch. This is outside, ball. and that's ball one. Strike right. one. One and one. Left hand batter waits. 
Fights that one away, still one and two. He's begging, give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Fouls it off, still one and two. Kicks and fires. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability. Now this one is hammered way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. A massive home run. His second home run of the game. It's 4-4. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. <laughs> Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Here's the catcher, Shea Langoliers. He's 0 for 1. Hammer, and now maybe extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a two bagger. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. And now, Tyler Nevin. Gets the call, and it's 0-1. Righty delivers in the air, right side, and that'll fall for a base hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score, and the A's have moved out in front. It's 5-4. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that, but... There's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. So Bob Melvin out of the dugout, and he's ready to make a move. Logan Webb won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher now, number 74. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Walker. So up next, Zach Gellar. And there's a ball. You know, these athletics putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. That one oh. missed. Good hitters count the 2 0. And that clips the inside corner. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. The high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front no, there. Man. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout.
And now the first baseman, Armando Alvarez. Right through there for a strike. Here comes a pitch. That one finds the zone. And the count is 0-2. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Jordan Hicks getting ready to come in for Bob Melvin. Birdsong also getting ready. And the pitch. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Make quick work of him right there, Siggy. I know that's the kind of at bat maybe leaves a lot of fans wondering, what was he doing up there, right? Yeah, and I get that. I mean, you take two straight strikes, then chase one way out of the zone. It's it's just not a good at bat. It'll leave you shaking your head as a hitter, if not worse. But there's always going to be those trips to the plate where you're just lost up there, and that was one of them for sure. Hernandez stands in now and watches strike one. Two runs across in the inning. Last half of inning number five. Good that's eye down, in that that's spot. Ball. Two outs. And a foul ball. Righty to the plate. And a good no, eye there. Is, that's a ball. 2-2. Two, two. Got him. Top. That's the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. We're through five. It's the A's five. And the Giants four. And he deals. And there's a strike. Action in the pen no down there. Right. Austin Adams up and throwing. Boyle, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. The pitch. On the ground to third. Fires across the diamond. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Kurt Casali, the next giant to hit. That's nope. a little oh. bit low. Right side drifts towards it. Two down. Now the seventh fielder, Grant. And now McCray. Grant McCray. In for a strike. It's 0 1. A's leading by a run. And we're the top half of the sixth. Out to short. Not in time. He's safe. Well, that's one of those where you just have to tip your cap because he couldn't have played that one any better. Stood no chance with the speed running down the line.
Joe Boyle taking over on the mound. Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next giant to hit. One for three. That's, That's off the, the mark, and it's one to know. This is a great wow. dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, Boo. Out to short. They take the force out, out number three. So a strong showing there from the Oakland bullpen. 9-1 and 2 scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the A's five and the Giants four. Well, we go bottom six. Striding to the plate now for Oakland, number 12. And a pitch. Ball one low. And no, another ball. ball. And the right hander deals. In the air, left field. Makes the catch for the out. Now batting, right fielder. Dad. So the Oakland lineup turns over. Now it's the right fielder. Right yeah. through there for a strike. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Drive it out of here. They tried oh. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Next offering in there for a strike. And it's one and two. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack two him in the two. box. And that skips in the dirt. The next Down offering four. misses, and that's ball three. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. High in the air, out to right. Sizes this one up. He's got it, and there's two away. The left fielder, number 22, Miguel. Andujar. Next up for the A's, Miguel Andujar. Just missed. One oh. Next Two offering out. way off the plate. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Oh. 
just missed, off the ball. outside edge. And the count is filled up. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Right-hander kicks deals down the line. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Two outs. Foul ball, and it remains a full cow. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Inside ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. A new arm into the game, the righty, Jordan Hicks. He last pitched two days ago. Digging in for Oakland, J.J. Bladé. He's got a couple homers already, so can he possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course he can. Those two he hit were legit. And he looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. Throw over to first, and he's back in safely. Just Down. missed. Ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And Outside. another ball. ball. pitch and a foul ball and a pitch and he grounds one back up the middle and that is the inning the A's strand one as they hold on to a 5-4 lead Here in the East Bay, here's Mark Canham. And a pitch. That one, one not close. One and oh. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. One and well, one. we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. even close there and it's two and two that one Down way ball. inside got it that's the first out the top of the seventh a big first out here in the seventh via the punch out yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And now the DH, Elliot Ramos. And it's through for a hit. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Runner on at first with one gone, and here is Matt Chapman. Slider misses outside.
the 1 0. Chopped in the ground. The throw to first. Just got him on that one. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. Now the left fielder, 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. Off the mark there, ball one. That's inside. Oh, well, that pitch not even close. A 2 0 count now. He can't be over aggressive. He's got to make sure that pitch is right on a tee for him. Splits the plate, and it's 2 and 1. So the tying run at second. Check swing, you went too far, and it's a strike. Two balls, two strikes. And That's another ball. ball. Full count. Mike Yastrzemski up next. Kick Sandios. Struck him out. Really fooled him with the breaking ball there. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And welcome back to the ballpark. Set for the last half of the seventh. And now here's the A's catcher, Shea Langoliers. The pitch. Hicks One ball, no measures strike. six feet two inches, 220 pounds, and he was a third round pick back in 2015. Yeah. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. One and one. That one no, a little bit miss, high. Now two balls and a strike. Outside. The pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff off walk. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. So, man aboard. Now the A's designated hitter, Tyler Nevin. That missed by a lot. Ball one. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. Righty delivers to the right side. Oh, he gloves it over to first, and they get the out. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that now ball that in the air or get through it. Just pours in on the hands. Now at the plate, Zach Gellar. That yeah. catches the corner. That one finds the zone, and it's nothing in two. One run game, the A's looking for some insurance. And yeah, that's, nope, that's outside. Now Ball. one and two. And it's second. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. That's and it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. Now batting, first baseman, 
And here's the first baseman, Armando Alvarez. And there's a foul ball. Man on second, two down. On its way to the corner, and no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That one hops against the fence. The run comes in from second, and they lead by two. Picks himself up an RBI. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Man in scoring position with two away. And now it's going to be Daryl Hernandez. That's in there. 0-1-1. Two outs. Misses off the plate. And it's a ball and a strike. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And that is the third out of the inning. Hayes get one on the RBI double. It's a two-run lead now at 6-4. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Michelle Otanez. These are the spots now, where relievers really make a name for themselves. Late seven. and close. Michelle. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Number five, Mike Yastrzemski. The pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Movement in the bullpen. David Lopez. The closer getting cranked up for a possible save opportunity. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Rips one to right. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. So now pinch hitter for the Giants. Lamont Wade Jr. And he would be the tie and run boot. So we may see him try to launch one if he gets a good pitch to handle. Line drive, leaps and he's got it. Race to the bag, but he's safe. Good job to avoid the double play. That's a big first out of the inning. He showed off the skills catching the line drive, but most importantly, he kept the runner out of scoring position. Things would look a little different if he didn't make that play. So now pinch hitter for the Giants, Patrick Bailey. Well, they're going with the lefty bat here, Boog, trying to improve that matchup for a very important at bat in this game. That misses the, the zone, and that's ball one. With the tying run at the plate, and we're at the top of the eighth. That oh, yeah. one's in there, and the count one and one. Big swing and a miss. With two strikes, may One see some movement count. over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And ball, another ball. Up. 
That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Man at first, one away. That misses, and the count's full. Calling this count runner, not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Booth. Looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Now a chance for Grant McCray. Pitch is in for a strike. Going one. Zero and one. The tying run at the plate. Good eye right there. That's down and in. Two and two. Next offering upstairs. 3-2, two, two out, Count runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Tyler Fitzgerald waiting for a turn at the plate. Tying run at the plate. The right-hander gives four, up the two-out walk. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum oh, very quickly. They're in some the hot bullpen. water trying to protect this lead. So the batting order turns over. Here's the shortstop at the play. Tyler Fitzgerald. And that one fouled off. So the tying run at second, and that's oh, off that's the inside edge. And the count even one and one. Swing and a high fly ball left field on Duhar. Moving under it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Giants leave a couple. They trail it here, six to four. Staying in the game on defense, Patrick Bailey. He takes over behind the plate to do the catching after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Also entering the game, Brett Wisely. He'll play second. Now it's the shortstop. For the A, not shortstop. Hicks back to work. And first offering is fouled off. The That's shortstop the takes That's a ball. Inside. Just no, off the out. outside edge, and it's two and one. Ripped into left, base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Stepping in, number 28. First pitch misses. I love this part of the game. Does he really want to try and steal second against this catcher? I know he's fast, but it's pretty risky. Let's go, three to go, baby. Let's go. Rudder at first with no outs here. Oh. 
There's the strike. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Now batting. Now the number two hitter, Miguel Andujar. High fly ball, shallow right field. Two down. The center fielder, number 33, J.J. Met at first. Here's the center fielder, J.J. Bladé. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Oh, and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. At the belt and fires. Stays alive. In the air, right field. And that's a fair ball. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. First and third, two away. Shea Langoliers up next for the A's. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Oakland looking to add another here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. Two on, two outs. Foul ball there. And a 1-2. Got him swinging. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Through eight full, it's the A6 and the Giants four. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, David Lopez. A chance at his first save of the year. And now the first baseman, Mark Canna. A wide to kick the pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Calls it in, and there's one away. One pitch, one out. Now that has a good opinion. Elliot. He's two outs away. Now it's the DH, Elliot Ramos. Breaking ball inside. And that's ball one. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. And that one is lifted in the air, settles underneath it. He makes the grab. And there's two down. One out left for the Giants. Matt Chapman up to the plate now. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Chapman gets a piece there. This could end it. 
Got him. And that wraps it up for this afternoon. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And this one ends with a final score of 6-4. to four. Oakland hangs on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.